withdrawal of funds from surplus to reimburse for winter storm expenses. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, uh, we have sent the board a, a, a listing of the funds that were used uh, along with a copy of the statute that's involved uh, and a proposed draft letter um, to the Commissioner of Revenue Administration. The law provides that should funds be expended and that they have already been expended uh, to take care of emergency situations, then the selectmen should apply, if necessary, to the Commissioner of Revenue for reimbursement of those funds through some means. And the only means that's really available is to take them from the on reserve fund balance. The total amount, and what we did here is we took 2013 um, as, the, as the test year because that was a normal winter year in the spring, the, the January through March period. We wish it were spring this year. Uh, and we ran that against 2015, and the difference was $352,241.10 that was expended more than in 15 than was in 13. So we would ask that the board consider uh, writing a letter to the Commissioner of Revenue asking for a re uh, authority to remove $352,241 and put it back in the individual highway accounts. Uh, there were, of that sum, there was $3,612.70 that came from the police department for paid details uh, on week 7, 8, and 11 of the payroll period. So move $352,241 in a petition to DRA. Second. Any further discussion? Yes. I'm opposed to doing this, gentlemen. I think it's too early in the year. Um, I would like to see lines, and this is going to particularly apply to public works, uh, most likely. Uh, I would like to see lines overexpended uh, where we need to spend the money. Uh, I think in September or October, as we approach the tax rate setting date, don't forget, you got in here five million dollars in, let me pull this out. We've got over five million dollars. It's in Fred's letter. Five million four hundred and fifty-five. Uh, yeah. Five million four fifty-five thousand five sixty-seven. As designated as unreserved or surplus. I think the appropriate time to do that is see how we get through the summer and then when we get to probably early October, take a look, see where we are, and then see whether we uh, still need to, and we probably will at that point in time, go ahead. But I think this is way too early. I think this is jumping the gun. Okay. And we don't have all the revenues in yet either that we'll have by by the fall. And so you, you're recommending that we do that, though, Mr. Welch. Would you like to respond to that? I am recommending. I understand the situation. Um, while we have $5 million in surplus, uh, when I look at the, the budget for the, uh, the highway division where this money came from, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll just, just, let's just do snow and ice, which is our wintertime yeah. maintenance account, yeah. okay? Uh, this money came out of there, and um, the total amount of appropriation in that account was, was uh, uh, considerably less. It was only $160,000 for the entire year. Um, as it stands right now, without specific authority from the selectmen to overspend individual line items within the budget, I'm going to be forced to cut money, uh, $352,000 out of that budget now, because I don't have it. It's gone. It's, 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 it's gone, and, and uh, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things. I either have to take the money from the sewer division, which I can't do, uh, or the wastewater division, or I have to take it from uh, the transfer station. And I don't have any money to spare on either one of those. Uh, so um, the nice thing about this is that if you don't spend the money after putting it back in, then it goes back to surplus automatically, and you'd still have money available there. Uh, you have filed, or we have filed with the federal government with FEMA, a request for reimbursement, but it's only for two days because the governor did not declare the entire two and a half month period as an emergency. 
-hmm. So we'll be lucky if we receive seventy-five or a hundred thousand dollars out of all that money that we spent. All the rest of it's just going to sit out there. Uh, at some point in time, um, the rubber's going to meet the road, as they say, because we're going to end up with programs that we have to cut now because we won't, we don't have the money. If I spend it and the board doesn't approve it later, we're in serious trouble. Okay. Uh, let's let Mr. Uh, Wardell comment. Yeah. Um, so if we did this now, Fred. Sure. And then we got the federal money. Federal money goes to revenue. It doesn't come back to the department. Okay. We don't see any of that money. All right. All so right. that will be a revenue that will, if it, if it causes us to exceed the amount of revenues we projected, that money will automatically fall to surplus. Okay. Sorry. But we don't get a chance to put that back in the okay. budget. Okay. So that would fall back to surplus. If if we don't do this now, what you're saying is if you, these are bills that these these are, this is money that has been spent already. Correct. Correct. So you're going to have to move it from some other line item to here. No, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down programs. Right, because you don't have it to. That's correct. I'm going to, have to shut down three hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars worth of programs. Okay. And I'm probably going to be coming back to the Board of Selectmen to find out which days you want the transfer station closed, uh, when you don't want Christmas tree pickup anymore, you don't want leaf pickup anymore. Uh, those things are all incidental to normal operations. Uh, any work on sidewalks that we have scheduled will be canceled. Uh, we're prepared to start working in all those areas as we go through the year. Uh, for instance, we have um, we have uh, work that's going to go on on Exeter Road, which is a warrant article, thank goodness. But we also have some work on Main Street or Lafayette Road here in town uh, where we have some severe problems with uh, sidewalks. And uh, we've had a number of injuries there from falling that we need to do some work. I'm going to have to curtail that entire account. That's only $25,000. And you haven't seen anything until you see what happens when you close the transfer right. station. Either. Right, and the, I mean the <laughs> fact is, the no. fact of the matter is that this is this is not something that was overspent. This is something that had to be spent. This was something that, you yeah. know, I mean the winter caused and stuff. So, so yeah, okay. I don't Mr. want to do Bridal. any of those things. Yeah, I've got my answer, Mr. Bridal. I and I I, I have my answer too. I think. Uh, you know, uh, I I understand what Mary Louise is saying, so but, I. you know. It, uh, if we try to find three hundred and fifty thousand dollars out of the other budget, uh, any of the the projects that go on during the summer, road pavings, sidewalks, uh, patching holes, the, the the work on the sides of the roads, as as you've talked about, shoulders. the shoulders and stuff like that, True. we don't have any money because we can't wait till November to do that. We have to do that now, and 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 the town can't wait to see what we have in November to then all of a sudden go say, oh, well, we have. We can do this little bit. We can't do that. You can't wait that long. So I think, I think it's prudent that we do this now. I think the people uh, uh, want to see the work continue in town, uh, and uh, uh, this was something that was totally unpredictable. Yeah. We could not predict that we were going to have this much snow. We couldn't predict this, and I think we need to move forward. That you know the the, the un, unspecified funds or unrestricted unreserved, unreserved funds. You know, they, they, sometimes they're called the rainy day fund. Well, mm -hmm. it was pouring. It was pouring in, in February and March. And I think now we have to address that. So. Just, oh. just so you know where we stand financially in town right now, uh, we currently have underspent our budget by $324.6,000 mm -hmm. uh, or thereabouts, uh, according to the finance division. Uh, 368000 excuse me. We're under, under target that much. Uh, but that means taking money from every single department in the town to make up for the deficit in one department. So I'm going to have to, you know, to play the game of, of not, not renewing now, not putting money back in where, it's, where it was expended and would normally have been expended. And I've already made allowances for, the, the cost was way over $400,000, but I've already made allowances for what was spent in 2013 and deducted that from the, the amount of money spent. Um, if we don't do that now, then I can't tell you where we're going to be two months from now. And I, I can tell you right now, the, the fire department's rate of calls it's right through the roof. is through the roof. Last year, they, had, they were up by 12%, and I know, I know they're, they're up even higher than last year. Yeah, so. Are. 
over the past couple of years, and they're still working on, with the default budget, they're working on last year's money. Other comments, Mrs. Wolseley? There's no impediment to Fred coming to us asking for permission to overspend in, in line areas, particularly in the public works budget. In addition, of our, let's see, 26, 26,507,096, grand operating budget, we still have 16675246 at the end of May. Mm -hmm. uh, I would rather see case by case, and certainly if we're having to overexpend, I want to see where the overexpends go, and I know the Budget Committee uh, likes to see where you're overspending as well. And whatever revenue comes in will come in, uh, and as uh, Christy pointed out in here, for example, the, uh, just the motor vehicle uh, revenue came in uh, way over target. So we'll still be getting revenues in over the year. The other factor to be considered here, gentlemen, is that this can't be done at all without the permission of the Municipal Budget Committee. That's not correct. It is not? No. They don't have to put no, their foot in? Not. Oh, my goodness. In when a case where the money has already been expended, the statute specifically says under, under sec subsection two of that statute, that the selectmen shall appeal directly to the Commissioner of Revenue. Okay, I'm looking at 3211 right now that you provide. Roman 2. Roman 2? I believe it's Roman 2. The Commissioner of Revenue admin or the Commissioner of Education may accept and approve an application after an expenditure? Correct. After an expenditure? And we've expended All it already. All right, then, yeah. be and you, so you're saying that the storm situation in January and February right. is post um, if it caused by a sudden or unexpected emergency, in which case paragraph one shall not apply. Mr. Okay. Chairman, there's a motion and a first? second. Yeah. Last comment, yeah. uh, please, is that uh, the bean counting's great. The money's been spent. It was an extraordinary storm. We uh, just billeted a, uh, an experienced new fire chief. We have uh, new command elements in uh, our major bull departments, and I know the board wants them concentrating on operational challenge, not counting beans and what we're going to be cutting. Any surplus of this uh, uh, motion will uh, revert back to surplus, as I understand the comment tonight. So the uh, fiscal issues are moot. And uh, I would ask for the vote. Okay. And who was the second? Is there a second? I'll second. First by Mr. Bean, second by Mr. Waddell. All those in favor? Four to one. Pleased. 